Welcome to our lecture online. We've been talking about enthalpy more in terms of the change in enthalpy when there's a process taking place where heat is being exchanged. But now let's take a look at the definition of enthalpy itself. So what do we mean by enthalpy? Enthalpy is defined as the total heat content of the system, which by the way is not the same as the total internal energy. So let's say we have a cube of ice one mole of ice, which is 18 grams of ice, and we want to know the enthalpy of that cube of ice. Well, the definition tells us that enthalpy is equal to the total internal energy plus the work done by the system. That gives us the total heat content. So, what do we mean by the total heat content? It is all of the total internal energy plus all the work done by the system. But what do we mean by the work done by the system? Well, let's say we had no ice at all, and now we take a cube of ice and we put it into the atmosphere. We have to push away atmosphere to account for its volume. So therefore, and where did I go with this? Right here. So the amount of work done to put the ice cube into the atmosphere is equal to the pressure times the volume. The pressure would be one atmosphere, and the volume of one cube of ice that has a content of 18 grams, one mole of ice, has a volume of 19.63 cubic centimeters, which is 19.63 times 10 to the minus 6 cubic meters. We multiply that together, and we see that P times V is equal to 2 joules of energy. In other words, to take a little cube of ice of 18 grams and place it in the atmosphere, you have to push away the atmosphere, which requires about 2 joules of work to make room for that cube of ice. In addition to that, we want to find the total internal energy. And the internal energy is defined as the mass times the specific heat times the temperature. Now what's interesting about the specific heat of ice, it is actually not a constant. It changes with temperature. Notice at zero degrees centigrade, the specific heat of ice is about 2.05 joules per gram, but it decreases as the temperature declines. Eventually, it converges to a slope of about 0.07. 0.073 joules per gram for every 10 centigrade degrees, so that by the end when we get to absolute zero, the specific heat of ice is much lower than it is at zero degrees centigrade. So we know that to find the total heat content, or I should say the total internal energy, we should actually integrate underneath this curve. We're just going to approximate it by taking the rough average. We're going to take the specific heat at zero, Kelvin and the specific heat at zero degrees centigrade, add them together, divided by two. I know it's not a perfect linear slope. It becomes a linear slope here at about minus 80 or minus 90, but above that, it's not that far away from a linear slope. So it's approximately the, um, uh, approximately the average of the two end values. So let's say it's 1.088 joules per gram per centigrade degree on average between zero and minus 273 centigrade. If we do that, then the total internal energy is the mass times C times T, which is 18 grams, times an average of about 1.1 joules per gram per centigrade degree, times 273 centigrade degrees. So the total internal energy is 5,346 joules. Eh, a little bit different than that, but just for the purpose of illustration, that's good enough. So now we can say that the total heat content, which is the enthalpy of that cube of ice, is equal to the total internal energy, plus the energy required to push the atmosphere out of the way to put the object into the atmosphere. Together, it gives us the total heat content. The logic is that not only do you have available the total internal energy, plus the energy of the atmosphere as it would push down on the cube of ice and make the volume disappear, and that's considered part of the enthalpy of the object. So, in a way, you can see that there's a little bit of stretching of the imagination there because we can't just magically make the ice cube go away so we don't really get that energy back from pushing the atmosphere out of the way to put the ice cube into the atmosphere but strict by definition we can see that the total heat content includes the total energy plus the work done to push the atmosphere away to put the object in place. That's why it makes a lot more sense to talk about the change in enthalpy but strict definition that's the definition of the concept of enthalpy the total heat content of a system or of an object, and that's how it's done.